Uh, hello and welcome to this Key UK coverage coming from the European Qualifier Tournament 2019. Uh, we're currently in the second slot of the day. That's going to be old news for anyone who's watching this on YouTube. But um, you also already know the result of this game, so well done you. So we have, we're about to see SQC against Werewolves. So SQC 1 against SQC, SQC 3. Both teams doing their chance. I would say Werewolves was a bit louder, so they've won the chance game. Overall, I would say Werewolves will be expected to win this game, but we'll see. We've had some quite surprising results so far this morning. Um, with the teams who are expected to win have won, but the games have been a lot tighter maybe than people would have thought. Um, 12 top teams in the country, so you'd hope we would see amazing games throughout the weekend. So that is what we've seen. And we have the starting lineups preparing. Uh, this is Monique Davis from London Unspeakables providing the commentary for you. Uh, as a London player, I probably know the werewolves a little bit better than I know SQC. So SQC, apologies for when I inevitably get your names wrong, unless you're Kerry or Ben Guthrie. So it looks like we're going to have Aaron Veal, starting keeper. Uh, Alice Walker at beta <laughs> with Jan. Uh, Luke Twist, Ben Honey, and Asher making up the chaser lineup. So both of the werewolves power couples making up a high proportion of their starting line. And we have Kerry starting with her partner, whose name escapes me. Apologies. He is good, <laughs> but I've forgotten his name. Uh, ben and <laughs> three other quaffle players whose names I hope are on the back of their shirts. Captain Ed Brett giving some last minute messages to his players. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Cochran there as our HR yeah. making the call. You guys, do you mind moving And brooms up. Oh, Luke Twist manages to kick the quaffle. Let's see if he can get the fast goal. He does. 10-0 Werewolves, but a really nice beat there from Kerry on Yarn to get bludger control. SQC should be making a fast break here, and finally they communicate well enough to. Ash, uh, Alice has recovered the quaffle, beat out by Kerry. Really nice work by Kerry, but unfortunately the SQC chasers can't capitalise. Nice throw back there from SQC, but Yan is fast, and Yan is taken out nicely. Kerry playing fantastically well in these early stages. Aaron makes a good pass to Ben Honey. I would have called that beat before, but no. So it's 20-0 now to Werewolves. What I think does not matter, guys. I will just give you my uninformed opinions. So we have Kerry uh, walking up, flanking the quaffle. Going to make a note. Oh, nice. Looks like the bl bludgers must have hit each other. Nice take then, but not clinical enough around the hoops. Asher has the quaffle. Oh, nearly gets stripped, but it's back in at, uh, the hands of Aaron Beal. Quick sub there for Alice. Jan is moving up on his own, but notices he's without his partner. Oh, they got back bludger control during that exchange. Do we see werewolves look like they're setting up one of their set plays? Guthrie, the point is taken out, but they've got a big lad in the keeper headband. Yeah, but all the bludgers 
went to the ground there and we have another goal for werewolves so that's 3-0 werewolves so as I'm sure was surprised no one werewolves coming out quick out of the block southern champions so, so they finally managed to get their first gold medal as a club oh nice block there by toby that's his name <laughs> nice block by toby and manages to recover bludger control by for sqc but let's see if they can capitalize on it you can see lena's not coming up as high as kerry might so toby's looking to maybe make a move by himself she's doing a nice job lena of protecting the quaffle and they'd be wise here to wait for the right opportunity. Nice split beat there, uh, split split the beat by Jan. So let's see, oh, so not sure who was called the inbounding player there, but Toby still has it. No blood, no, yes, no bludgers, no bludgers. Oh, really, really nice mid-range shot there by Ben Guthrie. And we're at 30-10. That was much more patient play from SQC, really nice. And some nice play there. Oh, but uh, werewolves managed to recover the ball, but, uh, the bludger that is. Okay, no. Oh. And one nice mid range shot is met by another by Aaron Beale. 40 10 overtime range now for werewolves. So we have SQC slowly bringing the quaffle up. Oh, Toby brought to ground, but he does beat Jan out. Oh, nice catch by Karina there. SQC still with control. He should make the beat. Oh, blocked by Honey, and it's a goal. That was a very nice block there by Ben Honey. Unfortunately, he's doing a rather embarrassing celebration, which, in my opinion, should negate the goal. And we're at, we're at 50 10 werewolves. <laughs> As I said, my opinions do not matter. So, Anjit there being quite physical with the SQC beaters. They retain control, and once again, SQC can't capitalize on, uh, <laughs> on that offense. So we have Anjit now, subbed for Yan. Yeah. Nice play by Anjit. Oh, Norton fumbles the pass though, and the ball is recovered by SQC. It was a tough pass. So we have Ben Guthrie walking the quaffle up. They're looking for another opportunity. Really nice beat by Jan. Ooh, Jan called safe. Oh, okay. Keeper was called safe there, but somehow lost the ball. SQC keep it, but they're not able to score. And, ooh, that little bit tasty there. Let's see if it's the tastiness that is... Uh, noticed no i think it's just stopped for it inbounding norton there's querying something from big steve but i'm not quite sure what <laughs> okay well not much is happening now so who has the quaffle? <laughs> so SQC players trying to inbound it but being threatened by Jan. Ed Brett gets it, passes it off to Tom who puts it in. The SQC beater looking a little bit disappointed in herself there but that's what werewolves do. So we're now at 60-10. So we have Matteo now walking the quaffle up. Don't see him handling the ball as often. He's uh, normally more used as a receiver. Oh, but he distributes it so nicely and it's another really good finish by Guthrie. 
60-20, so he's going to be their top goal scorer now. Werewolves with bludger control though. And we have Greenhow just come on in place of Veal. Cheeky pass. Brett's looking for the ball. But Norton decides to try and drive it in. Gets taken to ground and gets beat. Brett has it. Brett puts it in. Oh, and we now have the third Werewolves power couple on pitch. All right, so a little bit of uh, beta exchange is going on. Oh, Anjit went for taking the ball out of the air. Oh, oh unlucky there. It wasn't a bad play by the female SQC chaser, but it's a fast break from Werewolves. Brett slams it in. A little bit cheeky there. Uh, I'm not sure who that beta is. That's Mantis's shirt, but that's definitely not Mantis. So it's, I guess it's a newer player in the black for SQC. In fact, they've switched out quite a few of their players. Uh, all right, so nice, nice beat from Andrew. All the bludgers are on the ground or in the hands of werewolves. Oh, oh, okay, the whiff beat is called and now Gemma has it. She's looking for Tom. Oh, so, okay. Not a hundred percent sure what happened there. There was some contact there. I think um, I think Mateo was kind of contesting the ball in the air with Tom Norton, and he's been taken off. We also have a broken broom. Green Houge has the ball. Injury sub. As they did at Southern, uh, werewolves only have two female beaters. So we have Karina there calling for a sub. And Karina and Andrew have had the had bludger control for quite a while now. Sam Senior making his debut for werewolves. Little cheeky scoop by Greenhouse. That was nice during the beat. Uh, Werewolf, oh! But uh, SQC was up for the ball nonetheless. Greenhow John Point makes the press. Okay, we have Kerry back on. Oh, with Matt Smith who doesn't have a headband on. <laughs> yeah, they've realised they don't have a headband. So they're playing a player down. Oh dear, miss beat there by Sam Senior. Oh, but very physical D there. Oh, SQC keep it. Oh, they're a little bit unlucky there under pressure to miss it now we have werewolves racing up the pitch ed brett missed that shot unlimited range perhaps not and matt smith and kerry have recovered the bludgers 80 20 for werewolves so, so quite a low scoring game actually we have trevor's now come on Oh, blue card, must be delay a game. Yeah, Steve's quite harsh on how he calls his delay of game, so I'm not that surprised. SQC have been playing quite slow, but it's a little bit harsh because uh, they are almost certainly now going to concede a goal. I mean, this is what teams are going to do when there's a perceived mismatch. Alice back on, beats out Kerry. Ooh, Trev misses the ball, but Matt also misses the beat. Really scrappy D there. Oh, a little bit unlucky by SQC with a few missed beats in that play and werewolf score. <laughs> oh dear, and the chaser, the chaser does not know. People need to 
be explaining what the uh, subbing procedures are when you're carded. Norton contesting for the ball, Tash contesting for the ball, Bludger's in play, but SQC managed to hang on to it. SQC have Bludger control still. Kerry creates a no Bludger's. And SQC capitalise it and they score really nice. But Kerry is looking a little bit tired. <laughs> Both teams actually only appear to have two female beaters. <laughs> Jay telling off some of the volunteers there. Trev, not. Oh, is that not? Is that not? Is that not off? Oh yeah. So a lot of scrappiness there. Let's see what comes out in the wash. So I have a brooms down. Doug doing an admirable job trying to reset the uh, the goals. <laughs> Some uh, chats going on, trying to figure out what was going on. <laughs> so Cockers has the ball and he's just left it dead I guess so Alice with the bludger in hand but nobody else 90-30 now is the score to werewolves okay brooms up so SQC have the ball, but they're being pressured quite hard. Kerry gives them a little bit of support. Mateo now with the ball. The other players are setting up. Senior squaring up with Kerry there. Nice beat by Kerry. Ah, oh, really nice, but Luke still gets the ball. It's no bludgers. All the bludgers are on the ground or in the hands of werewolves. And Luke, really nice step there and finishes. Luke, of course, uh, played beta up until this season, but is reminding all of us that he's actually... It's actually pretty damn good chaser as well. So we've got about 12 minutes played. Uh, feels like we've been here for a bit longer. I guess it's the slightly disjointed pace with werewolves playing fast, but SQC playing quite slow. Beaters fighting out. Bidwell swats out of the air, and that should be werewolves ball. Yeah, if a keeper blocks a shot, that is uh, not a turnover when it's windmill by Bidwell and he finishes. Very nice. So, a little bit of subbing done. And look, you can see... That's what Steve does, you see. If he had reached the midline by before the keeper, he would have called that a delay of game. Very nice beat there to force the turnover. And nearly a nice catch by the beater there. Some scrappy play by Senior, but he loses the ball. No bludgers. And SQC capitalise and score. So very nice play there. I think the beaters maybe got a little bit distracted in that beater battle and the chasers had the vision to take it through and finish. Alice now coming behind the SQC beaters. Beat is made, but it's a double beat and SQC hang on to control. 
Nice beat by Lena, but now there's an open opportunity for a goal. Asher somehow gets taken out and loses her broom. And that was a very nice play, as you see, have for the quaffle again. So we have a nice passage of play from them at the moment. 110.40 still to Werewolves. Not a bad take there from number 20. Yes, and actually, yeah, that is a good call for them to go. Can Mateo recover the ball? Trev might be too fast. Oh dear, there's an injury there on the SQC player. Um, move the camera so it's not on the injured player. Oh, is he going to be... Oh, oh. <laughs> so we'll have at least a brief injury time out there. Injury break entertainment. We're going to do a dance with the camera, is that right, Alex? <laughs> so, yeah, so overall it's kind of a game of. I don't know if that's how you use this phrase, because I'm not a football guy. But to me, it's, it feels like a game of two halves there, with a much slower game being played by SQC. And actually, they've managed by using that tactic to hold werewolves closer than werewolves would probably like. Werewolves looking unlikely at this stage to max PD, but really all bets are going to be off once the snitch comes on. So we'll see basically. I imagine not much is going to change once snitch comes on because this is not shaping up to be a swim game. Unless uh, SQC can somehow manage to score four uncontested goals. Both teams just taking a little break now while the medics tend to that player. And then I get the message from Charlie saying, Alex, when were you going to tell me you really should have I know I should have, but I just wanted to run away from my problem. So both teams just going to take a few minutes to have a little rest while, while they can. Without Matt Croft, all the chases just went to absolute shit. All the other beaters weren't doing anything we've done in training. And it was just like, just... From the very start, we just gave the team a So we're at 14 minutes played here. How are you doing, Jay? Tasty result against Glasgow. Lively. <laughs> Lively result. Did you hear about Fabian's red card? I did. It will be many, many a pleasure. <laughs> No, and his, his actions didn't contribute to it. Yeah, um, he should have just. Uh, I'm not obviously condoning this, but you know, equal punishment for choke slamming a player. Was Gio Farina playing? No. So he caused the teammate to go out and play the I mean, that's why I play this one. <laughs> just discussing some uh, controversy in the first game slot. That's Quidditch. So well, let's see though, we've got a little speed off from Trev and Matteo. My money's on Trev. And that is easy money. Trev still hasn't managed to actually pick up the ball though. And an advantage marker is thrown down. So another broom is down. a yellow card for the Southampton player for arm contact there so Trevor's going to be return the ball 
Uh, the beaters were in a bit of a scrap, a bit of a bit of a ruck, just before that brooms down was called. So it looks like we have Toby has got a bludger back, and Lena's going to get hers. So ho hopefully they can shut down. It's kind of part of the beaters code that if you have control and you get get scored against, it's not really meant to happen. So let's see. Oh, nice block there. And they don't get scored again, so that was really nice. Alice throws the quaffle back. Oh, no bludgers caused by Lena. Nice head beat on uh, Sam Senior. They should be running. They should be running. Still no bludgers. They are running, but the werewolves' physicality takes them out. So the point is taken out. Not great communication there from the beaters. Amazing foot beat there from Lena. She's playing really nicely in this exchange. But unfortunately, SQC can't capitalise and uh, Bidwell has the ball back. So despite the power play, SQC are actually doing very nicely, but Jan pops the ball out. Classic Jan move, TBH. Twist recovers the ball. Bidwell has it. Nice beat again by Lena. Uh, Asher pushes the ball off and I think that's going to be an SQC ball. Little bit scrappy there. Yeah, so Mateo inbounding the ball, sensibly returns it to the keeper. Be balls get exchanged there, bludgers that is. And actually SQC don't have either of them, but they haven't realised. Slightly cheeky move on the third bludger there by Alice, but perfectly legal. And takes out, causes the uh, causes the turnover. And Asher's got it. Seeker's being called behind me. Nice beat by Anne. Another nice beat by Anne. Oh, Jan misses that one. And isn't called beat. And werewolf score. Apparently none of the SQC players know the procedure of keeping carded. And we have a uh, stoppage for some broken equipment. So another little bit of a stoppage here while they pick which hoop is their favourite, I guess. Or okay, it looks like they've sorted it out now, so play should resume momentarily. It looks like Jay is SRing. And we're at 1.20.40 to Werewolves with the snitch about to come on. Some beat of play happening. SQC hang on to the ball but not for long because Yan has it. That looked like a pass after beat to me. Held on to it for just a second too long. Nice pass from Bidwell. And in by Norton. 1.30.40 now. Bill Orridge, the snitch, has entered the field of play. Some, uh, some of Southampton's secret tactics being discussed in front of me. Uh, missed beat. Oh no, must have been. Uh, must have caught her. 
So werewolves recover the ball again. Norton does a big high pass to Veal. Honey puts it in. Werewolves are very good at utilising that extra pass. Yeah, Captain, they're trying to clarify whether the tiebreaker is QPD or PD, which actually people aren't clear on what the max PD or QPD is at this tournament. Mutual beat from the beaters there, and Karina presses the quaffle and they go for a kind of Hail Mary shot. Seekers are on. Let's see how long it takes Trev to catch Bill uncontested. So yeah, Trev going in hard as they should be. The je the beaters are ignoring the quaffle game. He's got some time on Bill now. So Trev's just waiting there while the SQC player does some <laughs> defensive seeking. Nice beat by Jan forces the quaffle turnover. Brett has got a run but hangs on to it because SQC managed to regain control. Nice take from Gemma. Oh, the beat goes to the to the quaffle. But now we have the keeper has the ball again for SQC. So not a bad play for them. Got the quaffle, got both bludges. Trev is out temporarily. He must have done something naughty and got sent back to hoops. <laughs> Little bit risky there from the SQC player who's might, yeah, she's gonna use their reset. My guess is she's maybe not aware of the reset rule and she's probably going to do an illegal reset if she's not careful. So the ball's not really being... She's trying to advance the ball, to be fair. Karina forces a turnover. Brett's got it again. He's got Veal. He uses Veal. Veal puts it in. 150-40 now. Trev's on the snitch. Bill, I would say, is probably done better than all of the cha all of the uh, snitches at Southern combined thus far by holding off the mighty Trev. <laughs> SQC passing the ball around again. Well, not much is happening on the the uh, snitch. Nice interception by Brett. But Kerry takes him out. Oh dear, he is not happy. So, a bit of scrappy play happening, but Ed's not happy. <laughs> He's holding his knee. So maybe he took a little bit of a turn on the... This, this surface is the... We're not so used to playing on AstroTurf. You can catch your foot. Yeah, it looks like he's just caught his ankle perhaps unfortunate for him but they've got uh, Norton to sub on for him <laughs> and a little bit of uh, chitty chatty going on balls up Norton has the quaffle Werewolf setting up, he passes to Thrip. Oh, okay, Veal takes it. Nice beat from Kerry. Oh, it misses, unfortunately, for her. And Veal puts it in. Trev's got a bit of time on Bill again, but the SQC player, he's got some legs on him, that guy. He must have done something naughty and get sent back to hoops. Veal trying to fight for the quaffle. But the number 37, Spenny, doing very well to fend off these quite rough plays. Oh, Anjit's in, manages to get the beat off. Norton's got it and he runs in. Trev's off subbing for Luke, so I guess they're looking for a bit more length in their seeker. He's got some one-on-one -on -one time with Bill now. These guys will know each other well from Team UK trainings. Yeah, so he knew exactly how to catch Bill. Went straight over the top and it looked clean to me. 
So the quaffle game is at 160.40. So whatever, uh, that will almost certainly will be a max PD game or QPD game, whichever it is for werewolves. So a little bit of chit chat, but unless any rules have been broken, we'll see. Yeah, catch is good. Final score, 190 star 40 to Werewolves. Thank you for being with us. That's the end of our coverage.